Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Well, if you're anything like me, you belong to Pinterest, and Pinterest has been flooded with amazing Easter crafting right now. And one of the things that just keeps popping up that I am just totally in love with is the bunny butt Easter craft. And I just think these are the cutest little thing in the whole wide world. So I'm gonna give you my take on how to make a bunny butt Easter decoration right now. For this project, you'll need one oversized puff ball, at least two and a half inches wide, one medium small puff ball, three quarters inches. You'll need a small square of white felt, a small square of pink felt, really good scissors, hot glue, a small terracotta pot, a one inch styrofoam ball, green Easter grass or crinkle paper, silk flowers, wire cutters, and a glue pen. So one of the best things is that I was able to get almost every single item here at the dollar store. And this came in a package of three. And these are my little balls and they come in a pack with a whole bunch of different sizes. But we're gonna be using the one inch styrofoam ball. And what we're gonna do is just place it right inside there. You see how that fits perfectly. And I'm gonna push it down in. So you do have to use a little bit of pressure and really get it stuck down in there. And you want to make sure that you've got a goodly amount of space here because what we're going to be doing is adding the bunny butt. Now here's my big puff ball. Now I like to choose one that like basically fits in the top there and makes like an ice cream cone. That's how you know it's big enough. So if you've got a bigger pot, you might, want, you might even need a bigger puff ball. The idea here is this is the bunny's body. This is his butt side and he's going to be like sticking out like he's like diving down in to get a carrot or something. So I'm going to put some glue on the inside here. And this is hot glue. And I'm just going to stick it down in there like that so that he looks like he's, he's poking over the edge there. He has dove in deep. He's diving in deep. Okay, and now I'm going to add his feet. So here's the deal. You're going to take your white felt sandwiched together and I'm going to cut a teardrop shape. Now this is why I said use good scissors because cutting felt like this in these small shapes can be really tricky if you've got terrible scissors. So see how I've made like a teardrop shape? I'm going to round it over at the end there just to be the back end of his foot. So there you can see, it's like a little teardrop. This is the tricky part, these little tiny toes. And I've learned my lesson with trying to make the toes. Cut yourself a rectangle or a square because what you're gonna wanna do is just do the toes out of the corners. So you just take it right at the corner and just go up and around and make a little circle. And that'll give you your toes. And if you do it on all four corners, just go up and around, that's gonna give you the four little toes you need. And then you can use the middle to make a little oval to be the pad in the middle. So you got your pad in the middle and then I'm actually going to do three toes just because this is not a huge foot. So you got them like that. Let me glue those together for you. So you got your white foot. And I've been using a glue pen for these tiny little toes. I used hot glue for my pad right here. Just glue that right, right about center of the top part there. Almost looks like a hard boiled egg when you do that. And then the tiny little toes are so tiny that what I've been doing is just using a paint pen. So I'm just gonna put a little drop of paint there. Excuse me, this is a glue pen, not a paint pen. Put a glue there and a little drop of glue right here. A drop of glue right here. I mean, normally I would use a hot glue, but these are so tiny. There you go. And there's your paw. 
now I've got two of them because I already did one. Now I'm going to take my little feet and figure out the placement for them. So now it's up to you. You can you can place them like they're like his feet are splaying out, or you can do them so they're splaying in. It's really up to you, however you want to do it. But I kind of like them so they look like he's like he's stuck in there. And we'll take a little hot glue, put it right here on the edge. You can put a little on his bunny butt. And I'm going to glue it right like that. Right there. And making sure I don't knock off my little toes. I'm going to do it on the other side. And again, a little bit on the bunny butt part. There we go. So now it looks like he's really in there. And now we just need his little tail. And again, this is, this is up to you where you want to place it. You know, some people like to place it further back. I like to make it look like he's really diving in there. So I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue right there. And put it right there. Now you're almost done. I'm going to use a little bit of this crinkle. And again, I got all this stuff at the dollar store to make it look like he is diving into the grassy carrot patch here. And you can just leave it like that if you'd like to. But I'm going to add a flower. So I got these little silk flowers and I'm going to push the, push the uh, leaves up and I'm going to cut the stem with about an inch and a half of wire. And that's what I use those wire cutters for. And I'm just going to stick this right in here and that's going to go into that styrofoam ball and fluff up the little leaves, and there you have it. And that's all there is to making your little bunny butt Easter decoration. I'm wishing you a happy Easter from sophie-world.com. Mm -hmm.